hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel before i start if you know you've not subscribed to this channel please kindly do so by tapping on the subscribe button down below thank you in today's video i'll be showing you how to make jollof pasta guys this one right here is a must try now all the ingredients has been listed down in the description box so please kindly check it out so I'm just going to start by prepping my pepper mix for my pepper mix blend and here I have fresh tomatoes, tatashe, onion, scotch bonnet, pepper, shombo and ginger. Now I'm not going to show you guys how I prepped this from start to finish because I have a detailed recipe on how to make the perfect pepper mix blend on my channel. So please kindly check it out after watching this video. So I'm just going to pour it into my pot, steam for 15 minutes, roughly blend and set aside. Next, I'm going to parboil my pasta. So into a boiling water, add your pasta, allow to cook for about five to six minutes, strain out the water and set aside. Normally, I break my pasta, but I decided to leave it like this for the culture. <laughs> let's go guys so heat up some vegetable oil go in with your chopped onions there and allow to fry for two minutes next you're going to add your tomato paste for this recipe i used two sachets of tomato paste now at this point i had to reduce the fire to fry on low heat all right you're going to stir this and allow to fry for about seven minutes Remember the pepper mix that I prepped earlier? This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to add my roughly blended pepper mix. Guys, like I said, I have a recipe on how to make the perfect pepper mix blend. So please kindly check that up after watching this video. So I'm just going to stir this up. Next, I'm going to be adding my spices and seasoning. So I'm going to start by adding my curry powder. And I'm going to be adding my garlic powder. The jollof spice which is very important for this recipe some rosemary not too much please some salt seasoning cubes and i'm going to stir this to mix next i'm going to be adding the leftover turkey broth that i had in the fridge if you know you do not have turkey broth, please you can skip it. It will still come out great. All right. Then I'm going to just mix this up, cover and allow to fry for about, you know, another seven minutes. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of water to loosen this up. Then I'm going to add my parboiled pasta. Start to mix properly and allow to cook on medium heat without covering the pot till my pasta is ready. This pasta is entering your eyes, right? I know. <laughs> so I'm just going to add some chopped spring onions, all right, which is totally optional. I just love seeing greens in my meal, so you can choose to skip that or add it, all right? So I'm just going to stir this up and our jollof pasta is ready. Then I served with some fried peppered hot turkey. Guys, if you know you want to see this peppered turkey recipe on my channel, let me know in the comment section and you'll have it. Thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, share and drop a comment. Thank you so much till I drop a new video next week. Bye!